Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, back in episode two of my survival. Just a reminder, on this survival world, we have brown bears, we have mobs that don't burn in the sun, and we have a witch tower, which is should be off here in the distance somewhere. Yeah, I can see the top of it over there. Very, very ominous. So I'm just trying to survive as best as I can. Um, I am going to make this world a little more challenging as time goes by by adding some stuff. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to survive. So last episode, uh, we started a farm over here, a little tree harvesting farm. We're going to continue with that, but I'm going to make it more productive so that I can build what I need to build. So uh, let's see. I think that, I think that ladder is a good place to start. I think to build this, I actually need more wood. So let me go ahead, plant a tree again. Hopefully it'll grow very soon. All right, and while I'm waiting, I think it might be time to protect one of my villagers um, or a couple of them, just in case. I need to <laughs> I need to have a villager breeder. Um, I'm kind of nervous that these guys are gonna die. So I need a boat so I can trap and transport these guys. Let me just chop down a tree real quick. But nothing to see here except a boat. No need to worry. Just trapping you. And we're going to break his workstation. He's probably going to connect to a different one. All right, so we're going to move him just kind of a little over here. I need to redesign this thing anyway. There we go. And I need one more villager. But I won't be able to get that villager up there without a bucket of water. So I need to try and make that happen. Hey, 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 hey. Enough of that. Okay, getting this guy in a boat. There we go. Okay, I need iron, which means I need to dig. I really don't want to dig. All right, I'm going to take my mining really, really slow. A little nervous about mining. And you know what? I'm not going to get iron anytime soon, so moving this guy up there is going to be hard without a bucket. I mean, look at how hard this is. I'm just going to move both of them down there and kind of build a house around them just for protection. It doesn't have to be pretty right now. Dirt is fine. Okay, the only other thing I need is some sort of lamp to keep them safe. I don't want mobs spawning in there. Ah, oh, there we go. Torch will work. Okay, my dudes are safe in their new nice cozy home. My tree still hasn't grown and it's raining. All right, I think it might be nighttime. It's kind of hard to tell. Could really use a clock. All right, we got some iron here. That's gonna help. But I need a different pickaxe. Okay, I'm gonna take this bed, and move it. I'll just take it with me. Doesn't matter if I die, <laughs> I'm done with this world anyway. Okay, gonna go ahead and grab some iron. Okay, we can get a better view of the witch tower from up here. I'm telling you, these are these early Minecraft days where you just grind, where you just go, go, go. You might not feel like you're making a lot of progress in the game, but it's just kind of part of it. So I'm just trying to gather resources at this point. It would be cool to like tear down all of these um, houses in this village and use those to like make a super house. I thought about doing that. All right, and I'm going to be making charcoal here uh, so that I can make torches. Let's go ahead and make a bucket for a bucket of water. That's usually really useful. Okay, now that I have some sticks, I have plenty of torches. That'll get me going. That's good. Still waiting on my tree. All right, let me mine a little bit more. A lot of times in my survival worlds, I will mine straight down using two blocks at a time. Uh, but because I'm trying to be so careful in this one, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, dripstone, yes! Unlimited lava, I am on my way. Oh, if I had mine straight down, death. All right, I'm, I'm, I've got a cavern going on here. I'm excited. Um, I don't want to fall, but I really want that dripstone. Hmm. Oh, gravel falling. All right, let's, let's see if I can get to that. Because if I can get dripstone, that means I have unlimited lava. That'd be really nice. Probably being foolish trying to do this. 
really want that trip stone. I'm seeing a lot of monsters down there too. I gotta be careful. Okay, it looks like we got plenty of dripstone around. I'm just gonna come over here. Okay, I got one. Let's see if I can get like four of these. Okay, I'm up to five dripstone, but I'm being a little uh, greedy, I guess. They're just all right here. It's so nice. I feel kind of guilty, like there's there's caves around where I live, and I've you know gone on trips to those, and you're not allowed to even touch the stalagmites and the stalactites because the oil from your hand will like ruin them. Here I am mining them down. Oh, just got pummeled by gravel. Probably shouldn't mine right there then. Oh, gravel keeps falling. <laughs> okay, I got quite a bit of goods, and it's night. Oh, I need to be careful. Right, I should probably stay down here. I think I have my bed with me, right? I'm really not worried about zombies at this point. I think I can, like, fight them off and run away. But creepers, I'm terrified of right now. They could kill me with one blow if they sneak up on me. And when I'm recording, I can't really hear much. Okay, so our tree still hasn't grown. That's kind of frustrating, but it will. It will grow. Ah, there we go. Finally. Gonna take my charcoal, throw my iron into smelts. I only got one piece. Man, I need to make a cauldron. Let me throw some goods into this chest. And let's go chop down that tree. Just constantly chopping down passive mobs as I pass by. Um, just to keep my meat sources up. Okay, I'm got like butterflies in my stomach from climbing up here like that fear of heights. Because with one, one thing I'm dead. All right, here we go. Okay, we just chopped down that entire tree, which is really good. Um, now we have enough wood that I should be able to make a proper tree farm. All right, so I'm going to come back here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is enough for two trees. We might make it bigger later. Just gonna kind of build out this way. Use dirt where I can. The rest will be blocks. I'll make it look prettier later. Okay, so I'm gonna jump up one and build kind of a one, two, three, four thing right there. Cover that with dirt. And I do have enough saplings to replant. Just like that. Okay, look at how fast that one grew. It was a lot faster than the last one. Just gonna go ahead and plant this. As long as I'm three blocks away from everything, Trees should grow. Now I, need, I do need to expand this this way. Okay, like I said, I'm expanding. There we go. Okay, now I just need to make my collection system for the saplings. Oh, sweet, wandering trader. That means leather. Actually, let me see if he's trading anything good. Dripstone. I already have dripstone. Oh no, <laughs> my axe ran out. If I die by llama. That'd be the worst Minecraft survival thing ever. All right, my Minecraft sun is going down. I put in my three knights. Just find a house here. I think everyone in this village is dead. <laughs> Except for my two, that should be safe. You gotta be careful coming out here. Okay, so uh, we did make progress on the tree farm. We got tons of dripstone, which was cool. We found that kind of ravine, which I'll be exploring more later. Once I have some armor to protect me, we trapped a couple of villagers. I hope you guys enjoyed this survival episode of Profe Plays Minecraft. And as always, thanks for watching.